Hi guys, a very good morning to all of you. I am Sabah, your English faculty at Hollywood. Good morning everyone, good morning. Uh, let me know if I am audible and visible to you all so that we can start this session. Quickly guys, I think the session is live. Good morning all, good morning everyone. So, if I talk about yesterday's homework, so first I will tell you that yesterday I tried to check your homework but the comment was not visible, okay? So, I have tried to check all So, it will like comment was not visible, you can see here also. And there were many mistakes also, I wanted to correct all those things but still the comment was not visible. So, here you can see, we were not able to add to your reply so that is why I couldn't uh, correct your homework, okay? So, Tina, updated GS and current affairs, Apoorv, Sabri, Madhu. Prasanjit, Geeta Singh, Arju, Rekha Singh, Kavita Jaswal, Navanita, uh, Renu, Babandra, Sanjeev Kumar, Somu Knight, Mr., uh, then Abdul. All these people did the homework. Yes, all these people did the homework. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, guys. Is it buffering? Quickly let me know if everything is fine so that we can continue this session. If all the things are right, then we will start the session. Quickly let me know. देखिए आज के सेशन में भी ना यू आर गोइंग टू गेट सम एक्सेलेंट वोकैब्स ठीक है वर्ड बहुत अच्छे मिलने वाले आज के सेशन में इन फैक्ट कॉमन वर्ड्स बट गुड यूसेजेस सो ऑफ कोर्स वी विल स्टार्ट शैले कंटिन्यू इज एवरीथिंग फाइन सो ओके सो टुडे स्पोर्ट इज ऑन एग्जामिनेशन as you have your examination many of you might be having your uh, um, this uh, lic w examination so it is simply on your examination do not stress do your best forget the rest so when you worry too much about the result then only you panic a lot and in uh, that uh, nervousness in that panic you uh, miss your uh, like uh, you do not give your 100% okay so just try to do your best forget about the result do not worry too much about the result then of course you will not stress and i hope that you will definitely overcome okay that examination fear examination anxiety so you know, please have this in mind okay and i wish all uh, i wish you all the best for those who have their examination today okay jinka aaj examination hai 20th ko examination hai so wish you all the best guys do your well okay so quickly those who are here for the first time like this session share this session and subscribe to our YT channel जो लोग अभी तक session को channel को subscribe नहीं किया एक बार सभी लोग channel को subscribe कर दीजिए session को like कर दीजिए और share कर दीजिए okay no if I talk about glimpse of today's session देखिए आज मैंने सिर्फ एक article रखी है वो क्या भी एक ही article का रखा है ठीक है second article में idioms अच्छे थे but I didn't include that because I wanted this this session to be short because many of you have to take your examination so जो भी चीजें no doubt हम कल complete कर लेंगे so that is not an issue but yes today we will be discussing one article जहाँ पे अच्छे usage इस वगैरह से we will be discussing that okay so as usual we will start with the revision session for this also we have just one slide then we have vocabs of today's session Today you will get good usages of words. Okay, vocab बहुत अच्छा मिलेगा आज के सेशन में आपको. Idioms and phrases we have, phrasal verb we do not have क्योंकि आज एक ही आर्टिकल का सारी चीजें हैं. Complete analysis of today's article, grammar learning, tone objective and practice practice exercise that is your homework. Okay, so all these things we are going to start. So let me know if you all are ready for the revision session. एक बार मुझे बता दीजिए क्या सभी लोग revision session के लिए ready हैं? Quickly match these terms. Hurry up quickly guys everyone. So I think many are correct today. Okay. Three people have given, four people have given. Yes. 
So ham fisted, this is a good word that we saw. It is an adjective. Ham fisted, basically, we call it amateurist, a person who is not very experienced, okay, very adept, inept, you can say, okay, clumsy, you can say. So all these can be the synonyms of the word ham fisted. Yes, A will be matched with third. Downgrade, as you know, downgrade means demote, okay, lower the standard of something. Kisi bhi ke standard ko low kar dena, so that is called downgrade. So downgrade and demote, these can be the synonym, okay. Brazen, basically, you know, shameless, insolent, impudent, okay, so many words I told you. So insolent, impudent, shameless, audacious, all these can be the synonyms of the word brazen. Bold, it is a negative word, not a positive word, okay, so it will be matched with first. Chilling, actually it should be intimidating because chilling is an adjective. So, this will also be an adjective, okay. So, chilling basically you say horrifying, okay. Um, horrifying, then you can say uh, intimidating, menacing, all these can be the synonyms of the word chilling, okay. So, yes, D will be matched with 7th. Imprimative, basically we call to authoritative approval, okay. So, jo aap apne order ka, uh, uh, ye power ka use karte hai to give that approval something. So, that is called authoritative approval, okay. So, it will be matched with 6. Hold means endorse, validate, okay, support, buttress. All these can be the synonym of the word endorse. So, F will be matched with 2. And overzealous, you know, over fervent, extremely passionate, okay. So, excited, over enthusiastic. So, all these can be the synonyms. Over enthusiastic about something. So, G will be matched with self. So, fourth. Why so less attendance today? Why very few have joined? So, 3517624. Yes, everyone is correct. 3517624. Everyone is correct. Right. Now, we saw three idioms in the wake of. That is a very common one. That is aftermath. Cast a shadow. to means to spoil a good situation with something unpleasant. And brush aside means disregard, ignore or dismiss. Okay. Kisi bhi ko disregard. Now, here brush is what? It is a verb, my dear. Okay. So, brush ko jab bhi aap subject singular hoga, to you can write the word brushes aside. Okay. So, you can say. So, brush aside, brushes aside. In past tense, you can have to, you will have to use brushed aside. Okay. So, this is a verb. You will have to use it in different context. Okay. So, disregard, ignore, dismiss. All these can be the synonyms of the word brush aside. Okay. <clears throat> Let's continue. Now, let us start vocabs of today's session. So, the first word of today's session is setback. So, setback is a very common word with so many times we have seen. Okay. So, setback basically we say an event that delays your progress or reverse some of the progress. Matlab koi aasta event jo aapke progress ko hinder karta hai. Or the progress that you have made, it reverses your progress. Okay. So, simple you can call it reversal. Simple, you can call it difficulty because problems can only check your, uh, hinder your progress, okay? So, yes, reversal, difficulty, problem, all these can be the synonym of the word setback. So, the in exact meaning, I have told you, yes, something that hinders, that checks your progress, okay? So, a check on your progress is what that is called setback, okay? The next word we have is rule. Now, rule means, you know, govern also. As a verb, rule means govern, as a verb. And as an adjective, yes, comeback is always greater than THAN, than setback. So, rule, basically, it also means direct, decree, pronounce, simple, you can say order. So, to order something, to pronounce something, dictate something, so that is called rule. So, direct, decree, pronounce, order, all these can be the synonym. That is as a noun. As a noun, rule means regime, okay? So, as a noun, rule means regime of any government, okay? So, that is called, yes. The next word we have is here I am talking it as a verb. Setback is a noun. Formidable is a very good word. Formidable, uh, aap yaad hai ka formidable opponent aata hai. Jab bhi aap is ke fixed usages yaad karenge, it will be easy for you to remember the vocab. Formidable opponent means your opponent is so impressive, you can say. Madhav positive ka usme bhi use ho sakta hai. Kya pehle hi har maan lije. So, something that is intimidating. You are so uh, awe-inspiring also, you can say. Awe-inspiring. Madhav, your opponent is so good, so tough opponent you have. Ki aapko pehle hi lag jai ki nahi, mera to chance nahi hi nahi aapke qualify karne ka. Okay, so that is what formidable means. You can say intimidating, you can say frightening, you can say awe inspiring, you can say chilling. All these can be the synonyms of the word formidable. So it is what it is an adjective. Got everyone? So intimidating, frightening, awe inspiring, all these can be the synonyms of the word uh, 
uh, this formidable. Okay. Next, what we have is sinister is also threatening. Yes, Tandya Rani, sinister also basically you can say. Sinister also we can say to threatening, frightening. Good word. Sinister SBIPO mein direct pucha gya hai. Okay. So, sinister word came in SBIPO in the direct vocab. So, sinister we call to threatening. Yes, you can say it's sinister also because it is related to menacing, frightening, intimidating. Yes, this is also a very, very good term. Next word we have is float. Now, you will get a very good usage of float. Float is a verb. See, floating on the water that you all know. Okay, something that floats on the water that does not sink, that is called float. But float also we call to suggest. Float one, float an idea. So, it means come up with an idea. Suggest, a idea, suggest an idea. Okay. So, float basically we say suggest, come up with something new. So, that is called float. So, this vocab is very good. Float ka matab suggest bhi hota hai. Remember that thing. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> then, variness. See, very word I have told you so many times. W-A-R-I-Y, very basically we call to careful. Okay. Cautious, careful. That is called very. Cautious. <clears throat> Variness is basically a noun. Variness basically we call to lack of trust or suspicion. Okay, जहाँ पर आपको trust ना हो, तो of course जब आपको trust नहीं होगा, तो you will doubt, you will be careful. So in that way also you can use the word wariness. That is lack of trust, suspicion. That is doubt, caution. So you are very much careful. Okay. So that is what wariness mean. Wariness is what it is an it, uh, it is a noun. Okay. N e double s किसी भी word में आता है, तो that is a noun. Clear everyone? Getting the word. So, float means suggest or come up with something. Wariness basically we say to lack of trust or suspicion or caution. So, that is the different meanings of the word. Now, next word we have is burn out. So, burn out basically we call to exhaustion. Matlab, you are uh, fatigueness, exhaustion, uh, tiredness. Okay. So, that is what burn out word means. Physical or mental collapse caused by overwork or stress. Every Saturday I am burn out. Okay, so it is what the whole week you work and then at the end of the week, weekend, you feel that you are physically and mentally collapsed. Okay, and this is due to overwork or stress. Bohut zata jab aap kisi bhi cheez ka stress le lete hain, ya kaam ka bohut zata jab aap pressure le lete hain. So it is what it is burn out. Okay, so that is what burn out word means. Okay, next. De facto. De facto, basically, we call it to in effect. Fact, you know, fact. Uh, even the, the one, there was a word that we saw, fate a comply yesterday. Okay. So, fight a comply, basically, we call to the same thing, something that has happened and you cannot check that. You cannot change that. Okay. So, it is also related to fact only. So, F-A-I-T word is also related to fact only. And de facto also we call to in effect, a real or something that is existing. Okay. So, that is called de facto. Okay. So, something that is existing, that is in effect, that is real. So, that is called de facto. Okay. Next word we have is pressing. So, pressing basically we call to urgent. Urgent. Pressing means what? It is an adjective. Critical, crucial, important. Something that is that needs to be addressed urgently. Okay. Pressing uh, issue. Pressing issue means very, very urgent, very, very critical, very, very crucial issue. That is called pressing. Okay. Now, we have just one idiom that is called in a spot. So, in a spot, basically, we call to in a difficult situation, in a problem. In a spot, we call to, yes, pressing moment, you can say critical moment. So, pressing, basically, we use it as an adjective, okay? So, urgent, critical, crucial, important, all these can be the synonyms of the word pressing. And in a spot, as I said, in a problem, in a difficult situation, okay? So, uh, guys, we have this uh, multiple courses on uh, our Hollywood platform. So, you can go for Banking Super Elite. Banking Super Elite is one of the best buy plans on Hollywood platform. So, do join Banking Super Elite courses. Okay. We are also coming up with our RBI Assistant Selection Batch. You can join this uh, RBI Selection Batch. It is free plus mains batch. So, if you use my code SABA, you will get flat 40% off. Okay. So, you will get flat 40% off after using my code SABA. So, join this RBI assistant batch also. Then, personalized banking mentorship program, we also have jaha par aapko uh, mentorship milega, live classes, mock test, everything you will get if you use my code SABA to purchase this course also. Okay.
So for purchasing anything on Olipot platform, remember to use my code Saba and join this Telegram channel for updates on every session and for PDF. Today I will send you share the monthly vocab PDF of uh, January that is pending. So I will share this with you. Okay. So before that, join this tele uh, Telegram channel so so that you are updated with every session and you get the PDF. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. Same banking view by T. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. I am going to teach narration. Now many will say that I am not using narration in the bank. I will tell you conversion too. Of course, it is going to be extremely helpful for those who have qualified SSC. They must have. They will have to attend this session. Narration. Okay. That is a direct and direct speech. But it is going to be equally important for banking candidates also. Even though you do not get direct conversion from active into, uh, sorry, direct into indirect speech. But you know, tenses may jo aapke jitne bhi problem hote hai. So that is just because of narration. So narration will play a very, very important role in the structure of tenses. Because ten narration means what it is a usage of tenses. Okay. So there are many things that you will get to learn. Even the structure, uh, that is inversion and all these things you will get to know through narration only. Okay. So direct nahi. Indirect questions aapke banking mein aengi. Thik hai jo error spotting ke form pe hote hai. So grammar dikhe kahi par bhi ye nahi kari hai. Ye to SSC ka hai, ye to banking ka hai. Conversion, yes, it will not come in your banking. But yes, concept, it will always be used in spotting error and all these things. Okay. So do not miss this session because this is the first time and the last time I'm going to teach narration. Na to aase pehle maine padhaya hai. On YT pe or nahi is aaj ke baad mein. Matlab, ko pata hai ye basically CGL ko focus karne ke liye hai. Banking mein to waise bhi koi aapko narration nahi padhata hai. But yes, aap, aap CGL ke behalf pe banking students ka bhi benefit ho jayega. You will get so many concepts. Okay. So I want everyone to join this 9 a.m. session that is narration. Chale, quickly read this article guys. I am handing myself quickly read this article. You should learn Mr. Innocent. Okay. Everyone should learn. Quick reading, guys. It will help us to make our novel. What will help Arju? Narration. So are you writing novel also? How to improve understanding skills? Uh, by multiple times reading only. See, initially, if you do not understand anything, so it is better that go have quick reading first and then the second time also. Two times reading will be important if you want to understand everything, anything in detail. Okay. Let's see. Time to quit. Now, there is someone who wants to quit. Okay. So, who is that person? Uh, you might have heard uh, she is in news. Okay. Nicola Sturgeon's uh, resignation as first minister of Scotland. Okay. So, no, they have resigned. So that is why she is in news. So, ye aap se, matab, ek important GA ka question ho sakta hai. You know, GA is tarah ki personality ke baare mein bhoat zada poochha jata hai. Okay. So, she has uh, resi resigned as the first minister of Scotland. Miss Sturgeon's resignation is a setback for the independence movement. Now, it is going to be a reversal for the independence movement. Independence movement matlab, ye jo EU ka Brexit wala case chal raha tha. So, it is going to be, she was supporting that thing, okay. And it is going to be a reversal for the independence movement. Who is Scotland ke liye jo ka ek independence movement tha. So, it is going to be a hindrance on that, okay. Because she will be resigning. When Nicola Sturgeon, the first minister of Scotland, announced her resignation on Wednesday. So, Wednesday, who known her resignation announced? Kya tha? Comparisons were immediately drawn between her decision and that of Zakinda Arden, the former New Zealand Prime Minister who quit last month citing burnout. Okay. So, the moment actually last month only. Okay. <coughs> 
द न्यूजीलैंड प्राइम मिनिस्टर दैट इज जैक इन दर्डन शी ऑल्सो रिजाइंड ओके and just one month after the first minister you can say she might be the president okay so nicola sturgeon she also resigned okay now when both of them they have announced their resignation okay matlab ek logon ne ek mahine pehle chhoda ab ek mahine ke baad dusre logon ne resign kiya and that too they were holding the most important offices of scotland so immediately comparisons they started matlab uh, they were immediately drawn between these two these two people okay <clears throat> and uh, uh, this former new zealand prime minister she quit last month citing one out okay so uh, her reason was that she is mentally tired physically tired because of uh, overwork and uh, that uh, uh, stress so that is why she wants to resign and she wants to relax okay yoga nahi ki thi ye log okay agar yoga karte to ye wala reason nahi aata one out wala anyways in my head and in my heart citing means quoting giving the reason cite means refer a uh, quote okay so she mentioned the reason mention that is the meaning of the word cite cite okay yes so burnout basically we call to exhaustion so in my head and in my heart i know that time is now said first woman and longest serving first first minister okay now uh, nicola also she is saying that in my heart and in my heart i know that the time is now so time basically it refers to quitting okay ठीक है उनको नहीं पता मतलब उन्होंने बोला कि अब क्विट करने का टाइम आ गया है ठीक है एंड शी इज आल्सो नोन एज द लॉन्गेस्ट सर्विंग फर्स्ट मिनिस्टर इन स्कॉटलैंड तो ये भी एक आपका जीए का क्वेश्चन बन सकता है कि ये लॉन्गेस्ट सर्विंग मिनिस्टर है फर्स्ट मिनिस्टर है स्कॉटलैंड में द पैल एक्चुअली रन डीपर नाउ इफ यू सी द कंपेरिजन बिटवीन दीज टू पीपल द प्रेसिडेंट सॉरी द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड द प्रेसिडेंट ओके सो दैट इज क्वाइट डीप द पैल द कंपेरिजन इज क्वाइट डीप ओके as with miss arden okay whose popularity was dipping in the face of policy setbacks there were underlying reasons behind sturgeon exit as well okay now if you talk about the reason behind miss arden exit okay so her popularity was dipping it was declining in the set of policies in the face of policy setbacks okay so because of sir, uh, some policy problems and all she might have taken certain policies that didn't work so that is why her popularity was was declining and so she quit okay and the same way there are so many reasons there are so many underlying reasons behind sturgeon exit as well to so, abhi jo inhone nicola ne apna exit bola hai to inke exit ke piche bhi there are so many problems okay reasons behind that aap aane ke bas khali aise hi resign karte hain miss sturgeon rose to power in 2014 okay wo power mein kab aayi 2014 mein After Alex Salmond, the Scottish National Party's SNP former leader quit following a defeat in Scottish independence referendum. Fifty-five percent said no. Okay, so वहाँ पे कोई referendum वगैरह होगा, तो fifty-five percent people said no to him. Okay, and that is why he lost. Okay, and when he lost, so Miss Sturgeon he came to power in two thousand fourteen. वो दो दर fourteen में power में आ गई. When the former leader of this party, that is SNP Scottish National Party, he quit. So she came into power. The vote was seen as a setback to SNP's bid for independence. Okay, so ये जो vote था, fifty five percent लोगों ने बोल दिया, no, they do not want him to be leader. Okay, so that is why he quit. So this vote was seen as a setback, as a reversal. <clears throat> to the snp's bid for independence unka jo effort tha bid here means effort so that is the effort for independence that was seen as a reversal on that but miss sturgeon revived the campaign ye power mein kaise aayi unhone isi campaign ko jo independence ka movement tha she revived that independence movement campaign after britain's european union exit arguing that most scots wanted to stay in the eu okay to jab britain eu se exit kar gaya tha so she was the one who insisted that no many scot people they want to be a part of eu and that is where she was leading an independent movement okay when the uk supreme court ruled ruled means ordered last november that the scottish parliament did not have the power to call another referendum on independence without westminster's approval she floated a proposal to use the next uk general election due in 2025 as a de facto referendum a victory for pro independence parties would be seen as a yes vote which triggered considerable opposition even within her own party ab yahan se yahan tak ka sentence hai now she wanted to lead okay she was leading a, a separate independent movement okay even when uh, uk it uh, britain it uh, that uh, 
ईयू को उसने छोड़ दिया था इट एग्जिट इट मेड इट एग्जिट फ्रॉम द ईयू ओके तो नाउ यूके सुप्रीम कोर्ट यूके का जो सुप्रीम कोर्ट था उन्होंने ऑर्डर दिया यू नो दैट स्कॉटलैंड इज ऑल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ यूके ओनली ओके सो यूके सुप्रीम कोर्ट इट ऑर्डर लास्ट नवंबर दैट स्कॉटिश पार्लियामेंट इट डिड नॉट हैव द पावर क्योंकि उनके पास इतना पावर नहीं है कि वो अलग से अपना रेफरेंडम ऑन इंडिपेंडेंस दे कैन कॉल फॉर दैट ओके विदाउट वेस्ट मिनिस्टर्स अप्रूवल सो इवन इफ दे वॉन्ट टू कॉल फॉर एन अदर रेफरेंडम अगर उनको चाहिए वो डिमांड करते हैं अदर रेफरेंडम सो दे विल हैव टू टेक वेस्ट मिनिस्टर्स अप्रूवल ओके शी फ्लोटेड अ प्रपोजल फ्लोटेड मीन्स नाउ ही सजेस्टेड तो शी सजेस्टेड अ प्रपोजल शी केम अप विथ सजेस्ट मीन्स वॉट शी केम अप विथ अ प्रपोजल ओके टू यूज द नेक्स्ट यूके जनरल इलेक्शन तो उन्होंने वो एक प्रपोजल लेके आए कि वो अब जो अगले साल यूके जनरल इलेक्शन होने वाला दैट इज ड्यू इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव so she will be using that as a de facto referendum theek hai wo de facto referendum ki tarah use karengi a victory for pro independence parties would be seen as a yes vote okay to ye inka ek policy tha which triggered considerable opposition even within her own party so this was the major setback for her ki unko laga tha ek pe bahut zyada log vote karenge but this triggered uh, opposition from even from her own party to isko kaafi logon ne oppose kiya tha it may not be a coincidence that her decision to quit comes before a crucial snp conference which is expected to take up on the proposal so she decided even when her party want was to take a very very important decision okay a important call on the proposal so before that only she quit okay to unka decision quit karne ka uske pehle hi aa gaya even she didn't attend she didn't wait for that snp conference which was expected to take a call on the proposal okay इंडिपेंडेंस वॉज नॉट हर ओनली मेजर चैलेंज ऐसा नहीं कि वो सिर्फ एक इंडिपेंडेंस मूवमेंट को टारगेट कर रही थी एंड शी फेस बैक एंड दैट इज वाई शी रिजाइन टू नो देर आर अदर रीजन ऑल्सो हर प्रोमिस टू एक्सपैंड ट्रांसजेंडर राइट हिट अ वॉल आफ्टर अ कॉन्विक्टेड डबल रेपिस्ट अ ट्रांस वुमेन वॉज सेंट टू वेमेन्स प्रिजन ओके so now she was also fighting for transgender rights okay but that also didn't succeed okay because uh, 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 one uh, double rapist a trans woman uh, was sent to women's prison okay a bill passed by the scottish parliament to make it easier for trans people as young as 16 to get government recognition okay for the acquired gender identity was blocked by the uk government citing again mentioning safety issues for women and children now she was also she also passed a bill okay scottish parliament mein ek bill pass kiya gaya tha to make it easier for transgender people to get government recognition but that bill was also blocked by the uk government because they mentioned that it is going to be a safety issue for women and children okay so that was also rejected by the uk parliament okay triggered means stimulated triggered means stimulated kisi cheez ko aage badhana figure a problem it means problem ko aage badhana okay besides there were growing concerns about the status of the healthcare system a nurses strike over pay and wariness over the waiting time for accident and emergency cases now there are other problem that uh, scotland is facing so the first is the status of the healthcare system so there is nurses strike going on ye jo a laga hua hai that is for strike okay so nurses they have strike to nurses ka strike chal raha hai wahan pe over pay payment issue lekar ke and wariness wariness means doubt suspicion so here wariness means what suspicion over the waiting time for accident and emergency cases to so in sari cheezon ko lekar ke there is a protest going on and ongoing teachers strike teachers ka bhi strike chal raha hai dekhiye yahan pe inhone apostrophe nahi diya so apostrophe is must here तो टीचर्स का भी जैसे नर्सेस स्ट्राइक में उन्होंने अपोस्ट्रॉफी दिया है तो देर शुड बी स्ट्राइक अपोस्ट्रॉफी बिटवीन टीचर्स एंड स्ट्राइक आल्सो सो देर वाज एन ऑनगोइंग स्ट्राइक बिटवीन टीचर्स ओके एंड अ पुलिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन इनटू अ लोन हर हस्बैंड पीटर मोरल गेव टू द एस तो उनके हस्बैंड ने एक एस को लोन दिया था सो देर इज एन इन्वेस्टिगेशन गोइंग ऑन दैट ऑल्सो तो ये सारे प्रॉब्लम है दैट शी इज फेसिंग एंड आई थिंक दैट बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल दिस रीजन ओनली शी हेज पुट डाउन हर पेपर ओके then <clears throat> all this put miss sturgeon rather wise a formidable leader in a spot okay so all these are the reason that made her formidable leader in a spot in a spot means in a problem okay ever since mr salmon quit in 2014 2014 say she came in power after uh, mr salmon he quit okay miss sturgeon has been the face of the independence campaign and her resignation is a setback for the same okay so after this person quit okay inke quit ke baad 
मिस स्टर्जन शी वॉज द फेस ऑफ द इंडिपेंडेंस कैंपेन वही उस पूरे कैंपेन को ड्राइव कर रही थी नाउ वेन शी विल बी रिजाइनिंग सो दैट इज गोइंग टू बी अ कंप्लीट सेटबैक फॉर द इंडिपेंडेंस मूवमेंट ऑफ दैट स्कॉटलैंड ओके बोथ मिस्टर सालमेंट एंड मिस्टर स्टर्जन फेल्ड टू ब्रेक द थ्रेश ऑन देयर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉज no fail to break the threshold means they couldn't succeed in their most important cause and the cause is what that is uh, 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 that cause is of uh, that independence movement okay so both of them they couldn't crack their cause usko un log fulfill nahi kar paaye her successor will have to rebuild the movement inke jo successor honge unke pure movement ke rebuild karna hoga while also addressing more pressing pressing means critical economic and governance issues immediately so the next person who will be coming so he will have to address more critical economic and governance governance issues immediately and they will have to rebuild that independence movement also okay now what is this uh, trigger means simply to start something okay stimulate something kisi bhi cheez ko aage badhana that is called trigger and trigger is basically for negative thing only okay to kisi bhi negative causes ko aage badhana that is called trigger now the question is uh, and a police investigation not required because it can be a compound noun but agar ye single hota na ongoing teacher strike to aap usko adjective ki tarah le sakte the okay but here uh, since they have used plural so apostrophe is required jaise yesterday only i told like if i say uh five years duration either this is the correct way of writing or you can write a five year duration so these are the two ways of writing if you are using it in plural form so you have to use apostrophe after s otherwise if you are using it as an adjective so it can be singular also okay so police uh, investigation can be correct but this cannot be correct because they have used a plural term so got it raju yeah to aap ye bolenge 5 saal ka duration or 5 years duration so uh, either you will consider it now so when there will be two noun apostrophe will be required otherwise if you are using it as an adjective so it will be singular so agar ye as a teachers if they are using it plural so of course they will have to use apostrophe here got everyone Now tell me what is incorrect here. जल्दी से बता दीजिए यहां पे क्या गलत है पहले ये वाला तो छोड़ के सो दिस इज देयर सो दिस आई एम यूजिंग ओके Very good. I thought that आपको ये रर दिखेगा नहीं Good. I hope you all know the difference between beside and besides. Right? Well done. So beside means by the side of something. So prepositional error. Okay? By the side of something that is called beside. And besides we call to in addition to. So यहाँ पर किसी के बगल की बात नहीं हो रही यहाँ पर problems की बात हो रही in addition to के अलावा जिसको हिंदी में कहते हैं So beside there were growing concerns that is wrong. so it is not saying that iske bagal mein concerns tha it is means apart from that apart from that in addition to that there were growing concerns about the status of healthcare system so yes the error is very simple it will be besides so is tarah ke error bhi aate hain in addition to yes so apart from something in addition to that is what besides word mean clear everyone got it now how many of you have your examination today uh, ma'am you did not check the nahi check hoga you did not check okay v1 form yes i uh, i checked uh, uh, yesterday's homework actually my uh, that comment was not visible to you okay so uh, i told that in the beginning itself that the comment was not visible so might be i will try agar aaj ho jayega to of course i will do 1 pm today anyone else who has examination so wish you all the best guys try to do your best in the examination theek hai and let me know the level of the paper once you are out okay to ek baar jab ho jayega to let me know the level of the paper so let's say 3:30 pm okay many have their examination today so wish you all the best guys today we do not have 9 am session police is a plural noun only uh, 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 arju 
पुलिस इज ऑलवेज देर इज नो प्लूरल फॉर्म ऑफ पुलिस ओके पुलिस इज ऑलवेज फॉलोड बाई प्लूरल वर्ब पुलिस हैव ओके सो पीपल पुलिस कैटल दीज आर दर्ड दे आर ऑलवेज प्लूरल आप इनमें एस एड नहीं करेंगे यू कैन नॉट एट एट एस बट यस दे विल ऑलवेज अग्री विथ प्लूरल वर्ब You can never say police have come. You will say police have come. Police have read, raided. Okay. If you have to use it in singular, so you will use it a policeman. Just say people का singular क्या होता है? The singular form of people is a person. So in the same way, the singular form of police is a policeman. So it is a plural noun only. It refers to plural as well. हाँ, teachers strike is correct. So this is also this I told in the beginning itself. It should be apostrophe. Got it? Police is a plural noun only. And police investigation we often use it together. Okay? So police investigation is the term that is often used. We never say no. We do not use it. Police is investigation. Police investigation is what this police can be used because it is a word. But yes, we can use it as a compound noun. You can say as an adjective. You can say, but it is used together. Okay? So police investigation only, not police's investigation. We say. So this is correct. This is not wrong. Police investigation is correct. This is not wrong. But this is wrong because teachers strike. Just like here, they have written a nurses strike. So after S we need apostrophe. So here also after teachers we need apostrophe. But in police investigation there is no need of apostrophe because it can be a case of compound noun. Okay. English means there are so many rules. With every word, you will get different usages. So that is what I want you to keep in mind. Okay. So same logic, same rule cannot be applied everywhere. Now quickly tell me what is the tone of today's article? What is the tone of today's article? C. Ah, uh, yes, Jenna. I will tell you the difference. Okay. Investigation is singular. Yes, police investigation. So the subject is investigation only. The subject is investigation. So that is singular. Yes, Jinna, I will tell you the difference. Okay, analytical. Yes, the tone is completely analytical because pros and cons behind her resignation, everything has been discussed. So the complete tone is analytical only because both the pros and cons, the possibility of that has been discussed. Okay, so the author is not criticizing anything. Yes, uh, it is neutral tone also. You can say. So what are the reasons behind her resignation? Everything has been discussed. So that is neutral tone, tone uh, and analytical tone. You can say. Okay. Now the question is, what is the difference between teachers and teacher? Okay. First of all, this teacher is singular, and you know teachers is plural. Okay. This is plural. So this is singular and plural when you are not showing possession. Okay, a teacher is teaching. Teachers are teaching. So this is singular and plural as a noun. Okay, when it is not showing any possession, it is used as a subject. Okay, teachers are. But apostrophe means when you are using teacher like this apostrophe. So first of all, you will have to understand apostrophe means it is not plural. This apostrophe means it is showing possession. It is showing possession. A teacher's book or a teacher's uh, kya main bol do? Bad, kuch bhi likh dijiye, theek hai? So this teacher is what? It is singular. It is showing the possession of one teacher. A teacher's bag, okay? But when we write teacher's strike, can we write this way? Teacher's strike. Is this the correct way of writing teacher's strike? No, because it will show that it is the strike of one teacher. So, is it possible that a single person can do strike? क्या एक कोई एक अकेला person strike कर सकता नहीं? जब भी strike की बात होगी, ठीक है? जैसे अगर मैं बोल दूँ a teacher's mess, ठीक है? खाने वाला है, जैसे officer's mess भी से, okay? So, it is what the mess, the strike, teachers, hostel, okay? कुछ भी इस तरह के मैं बोल दूँ। तो यहाँ पर whenever we talk about mess, whenever we talk about strike, whenever we talk about hostel, okay? So, it is not possible to make hostel mess strike for a single teacher. It will be for multiple. So, that is why when you get the sense of plurality, so the apostrophe must be used after s. Teachers mess, teachers strike. So, uh. This teachers strike, teachers mess, teachers hostel. Okay, so that is the sense you are getting. Clear, everyone. Both are correct. Jinnna, both are correct. 
सो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द यूसेज इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सिंगल जैसे हियर टीचर्स इज करेक्ट बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ टीचर सिंगुलर एज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बट यस व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट प्लूरल सो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट प्लूरल सो इट विल बी टीचर्स एपोस्ट्रॉफी विल बी यूज्ड आफ्टर दिस गॉट इट सो बोथ आर करेक्ट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द यूसेजेस यूसेजेस के अकॉर्डिंग दोनों ही सही होंगे You cannot say a teacher's strike. It will not be special uh, singular. जैसे अभी मैंने आपको क्या बोला अगर मैं यहाँ पे स्ट्राइक वर्ड लिख दू तो दिस टीचर्स विल बी इन करेक्ट हियर वाई बिकॉज स्ट्राइक मीन्स अ सिंगल पर्सन के नॉट सिट ऑन स्ट्राइक उसका कोई फायदा नहीं होगा सो स्ट्राइक मीन्स देर विल बी मेनी हु विल बी ज्वाइनिंग इन दैट स्ट्राइक सो इट इज वॉट इट इज प्लूरल जैसे इफ आई से टीचर्स डे so 5th september is a teach is teachers day so it is not the day of one teacher it is not the day of one teacher so it is the day of many teachers no apurv just because of examination i kept today's session short from tomorrow we will be discussing two articles okay kal aur aaj maine sirf examination ki wajah se we kept one session in fact aaj ke second article mein bhi we got good idioms so we i will be discussing those idioms also tomorrow theek hai kal bhi mai discuss kar dunga do not worry today i want you all to concentrate on your examination as only okay clear everyone i hope it is clear now what was your doubt arju when the author only gives negatives about someone what is the tone critical criticizing only negativity means critical criticizing acerbic so many words which all depends upon the language that the author is using so all these words can be used okay so i hope we are done now i have explained all these things jinna i hope it is clear to you okay uh the author inclined more no arju uh, author was not talking about her negativity author was talking about the reason behind her uh, 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 quit, uh, that uh, uh, quit okay so whenever we talk about the reason behind someone's quit so that is not negative author is not criticizing author is just citing the reasons behind her uh, quit okay so that is what it is your analytical tone so the reason the pros and cons behind the resignation that has been discussed so it is analytical tone not criticizing tone क्रिटिसाइजिंग तो जब गवर्नमेंट वो आपने देखा होगा जब बीजेपी के आता है ना कोई भी बीजेपी के बारे में आता है तब द हिंदू का टोन ऑलवेज इट इज क्रिटिसाइजिंग ओके बिकॉज देन ऑथर क्रिटिसाइज ऑल दोज थिंग्स ओके सो दैट इज द डिफरेंस रिमेम्बर दैट थिंग कल वाला जो टोन था दैट वॉज क्रिटिसाइजिंग यू कैन से yes only one session today okay uh yes today we have this only session 9 am session also we do not have because of uh, exam analysis okay so wish you all the best guys tomorrow at 9 am we have narration you have to join that okay the hindu editor is my friend so thank you guys i'm ending this session okay acha one more important uh, news we also have uh, this uh, webinar tomorrow at uh, 18th ko hai ye theek hai so it is tomorrow 18 february 6 pm onwards okay so you can join this webinar you can register now yourself for free okay so to participate in this uh, uh uh in this webinar okay so all this person guest speaker he will be the guest speaker aap i hope aap dekhe bhi honge he himself is an sbi po theek hai so you might have seen his videos and all so aap unko join kar sakte hain theek hai so like this session subscribe to our vit channel and share this session with others okay so thank you guys i'm ending this session from tomorrow we will continue the articles okay wish you all the best once again